Hello friends, here in this video we will see the design of helical torsion spring, right? Okay, the helical torsion spring, okay, you have to see in the figure, we can refer this figure, right? Okay, it may be from the round, rectangular or square wire, right? They are wound in the similar manner as a helical compression or tension spring, but the ends, but the ends like this and this but the ends are shaped to transmit the torque okay the primary stress in helical torsion spring is bending stress whereas in compression or tension spring okay the stresses are torsional shear stress okay and it is widely used in uh, door hinge brush holder automobile starter okay so the helical torsion spring is device used to transmit the torque to particular component of the machine or machine and mechanism right okay the little consideration will show that the radius of curvature of the coil okay the radius of curvature right the radius of curvature of the coil change when the twisting moment is applied right when this end is forced right twisting moment is applied to the spring okay then the wire is under pure bending okay now according to the curve beam theory okay we'll start according to the curve beam theory the bending stresses are produced in the spring okay the bending stress are produced in the spring okay we have the equation sigma b is equal to k K means KW, okay, means Wall's factor into M into Y by I, okay. Suppose for remember this equation, sigma B is equal to M by Z and Z is equal to I by Y, okay. On this equation, we will find this equation, sigma B is equal to K into M B into Y by I, right. Okay, what is K, what is M, what is Y and what is I, we can see, okay. K means wall stress factor. MB means the bending moment acting on the spring wire. Okay. Y is equal to distance of load from the axis. Right. Like this distance. I is equal to moment of inertia for the cross section. Okay. Now y is equal to d by 2 okay and i is equal to moment of inertia pi by 64 d raised to 4 okay okay now we have the value of y and i so this value is put in the equation number one right this one is the equation number one right sigma b is equal to k into m into y by i right so we have to put the value of y and i in this equation right okay so we find the equation sigma b is equal to k m b means bending moment into d by 2 divided by pi by 64 d raised to 4 okay now we get the equation after calculating sigma b is equal to k 32 m bending divided by pi d q and your it is equation number 2 clear okay we can see the wall stress correction factor okay wall stress factor at the inner and outer side means inner and outer surface so first we can see ki that means wall stress factor at inner surface and ko that means wall stress factor at the outer surface so ki is equal to 4c square minus c minus 1 divided by 4c under bracket c minus 1 okay and k outer is equal to 4c square plus c minus 1 divided by 4c divided by c plus 1 okay equation is nearly same but the uh, changes of plus and minus okay like this plus and this plus here in minus and 
minus clear okay now the bending stress is maximum at the inner surface okay bending stress is maximum at the inner surface of the coil the wall stress factor at the inner surface of the wire for the helical torsion spring okay so that's why kw is force is square minus c minus 1 divided by force c under bracket c minus 1 okay understand suppose bending stress is maximum at the inner surface okay of the coil the wall stress factor at the inner surface is for the helical torsion spring is kw means ki is equal to kw when the maximum shear stress is yeah, in the inner surface of the spring okay or coil clear now we can see the total angular deflection total angular deflection okay the figure c here is a simple circle okay here is one end and here is second end right so this end means this force f is force means this end is travel on this direction right so it is the distance of r or y okay and angle is theta right so we can see the radius of curvature r is equal to l by theta radius of curvature r is equal to l by theta so what is ln what is theta okay l means the length of the wire means total length of the wire and it is equal to pi d n okay and theta is equal to angular deflection in the radians radians is unit right angular deflection right okay this figure is understood this one is r force f angle theta okay so this distance is r into theta clear okay we know that the equation of m upon i is equal to e upon r it is the bending equation is equal to sigma by y okay is equal to sigma by also but we require only m by i is equal to e upon r okay so we have to find out theta we will find out the theta right so the equation is r is equal to e i upon m okay but r is equal to what r is equal to l by theta so equation is l by theta is equal to e into i upon m m b right so theta is equal to m b into pi d n pi d n means i i is equal to pi into d into sorry l okay and divide by e into pi by 60 for d raised to 4 it is equal to i means moment of inertia right okay so that's why we get theta is equal to 64 mb dn upon e d raised to 4 clear okay now the deflection delta is equal to theta into y it is the simple equation deflection delta is equal to theta into y okay but theta the value of theta we have okay this one so this value is put in this equation so we get delta is equal to 64 m b d into n divided by e d raised to 4 into y right and the stiffness k is equal to m b upon theta this is the angular deflection so that's why k is equal to m b into theta for the axial uh, load f upon delta equation of the stiffness is equal to for the axial loading 
एफ अपॉन डेल्टा मीन्स फोर्स पर यूनिट डिफ्लेक्शन इट इज ऑल्सो मोमेंट पर एंगुलर डिफ्लेक्शन राइट सो के इज इक्वल टू एम बी डिवाइड बाई थीटा सो द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज पुट इन दिस इक्वेशन सो एम बी अपॉन एम बी सिक्सटी फोर डी एन डिवाइड बाई ई डी रेस टू फोर नाउ एम बी एम बी कैंसल आउट सो द स्टिफनेस के इज इक्वल टू ई डी रेस टू फोर अपॉन सिक्सटी फोर डी इन टू एन राइट सो द फाइनल आंसर इज स्टिफनेस ऑफ द टॉर्जन टॉर्जन स्टिफनेस इज इक्वल टू के टी मीन्स टॉर्जन ओके इज इक्वल टू ई डी रेस टू फोर डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी फोर डी इन टू एन न्यूटन पर एम एम पर रेडियंस ओके क्लियर सो दिस इज द थियरी ऑफ हेलिकल टॉर्जन स्प्रिंग ओके थैंक यू एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट राइट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ हेलिकल टॉर्जन स्प्रिंग राइट थैंक यू